One of the awesome things about uh, the Malagasy people is their kindness. They are some of the most generous people in the world. And I'll start because I brought some um, things that I was given as gifts with me today. Um, but basically everywhere I've lived w over the course of two years, there's, there's a gift that somebody had given me. Um, and so this first one, uh, this, is my, this is my copy of the Bible in Malagasy. And um, I was in a, living in a town called Fianaransu, and it was kind of hard for me to find uh, a Bible, which is kind of something you need as a missionary so you can actually teach. Um, and I had a hard time finding it, and um, my companion had a hard time finding one too. And we came up with this idea, well, what if we just like have a member find it for us, and, and they'll do it. I'm like, are you sure they'll do that? And he's like, yeah, they'll do it. They'll do anything. And so we talked with some members, and they came and got me a Bible. I, of course, paid for it, but um, it was really nice to have someone help, uh, helping me to actually get, get a copy. They, they took some time out of their own day to just do something nice for me. And um, uh, another nice thing was, um, was this shell that I was given. It's a nice little polished shell. Um, when I was living in Tuliar, um, I was really I was really happy to get that gift because it was it was unique and special and um, from one of my friends who um, I still talk to often and and it was pretty exciting to get that because it just shows like man these people really care they love us they they're so nice and generous um, and this this hat right here it's called a sachka in Malagasy sachka and this is the tribal hat for the Betsileo tribe. Uh, Sachka Betsileo. Um, it was just really nice for me to receive this gift because um, it was from people who I hadn't seen in over a year because I had moved to a different location in Madagascar and um, they remembered me. They remembered who I was and even though I didn't know Malagasy very well at that time, they were they were talking to me over the phone. They're like, wow, you've gotten good at Malagasy. Um, we understand what you're saying, you understand what we're saying, this is great and awesome, we want to send you a hat. And I'm like, okay. And so they send me a hat and I'm just really happy that they remembered who I was, even though I only lived there for three months and, and didn't really communicate very well at that period of time. Um, another cool thing that I, that I got was this bracelet. Um, I think it's really cool and I wear it all the time. Um, um, it was something that that's special and interesting and and came from Madagascar and probably one of the most um, meaningful things are with these gifts is just the fact that they're coming from people who are um, they're having a difficult time in in, in regards to their finances and uh, their time and all those different things that they have in their life. Um, as as you might know, Madagascar is not the not very wealthy. It's very poor, and the people are very poor in general. Um, there are some exceptions, however, you would find that most of these people are very very poor. Um, and when they give you something like that, like a gift or or a hat or something that they make or or something, when you leave an area, that just shows how much they. They love and appreciate you and for trying to learn their language and speaking to them and visiting them. And that's something that I wish was a little more prevalent here in the United States, um, just that kind of generosity. Um, this last gift um, is a wood piece. It's a, the shape of Madagascar. It has Madagascar and two lemurs on it. Um, it was a surprise that I got this gift. It was definitely a surprise. Um, when, when I was living in this area called Tamatov. It's on, it's on the beach. Um, I was, um, I broke my toe. It was kind of a weird story where it, how I broke my toe, um, which I won't get into. However, um, I will talk about um, why this gift is special. Um, this gift is special to me because um, when I had broken my toe, I realized that I would be going home um, and I wouldn't be in Madagascar any longer. And 
yeah, that's definitely very hard. And I didn't really get the opportunity to go around and tell people I'm leaving and that I won't see them again for a long time. And um, I just didn't get that opportunity because I couldn't walk. So I could not walk far. I, I needed to hop <laughs> with that toe, broken big toe. But those that do, did know, they wanted to visit me, and they, they found me to, at our church, which was pretty close by to our house. And I was able to get there across the street. And um, uh, the next day, um, I was talking with my family in a cyber cafe, um, telling them that I was going home and all, this different, all these different things, and that I was going to leave in a couple hours from that city to go to the capital and where I would wait for flight plans. Um, uh, at that period of time, uh, there, was, there, was a, there was a family of members from my church who, who came up to me and tapped on my shoulder while I was sitting at the computer, and I was caught off guard that anyone would tap my shoulder in this cyber cafe other than, um, other than my companion that I was working with. Um, but I turned, and it, was, and it was two smiling faces of a husband and a wife that, um, that we had taught that we'd visit often, and, and, and they had a bag in their hand that had a wrapped gift, and I was, I was startled and surprised that, that with such short notice they were able to go and get something for me, and this was it, uh, this gift right here. Um, the generosity that Malagasy's, the generosity and love that Malagasy's have is, is not just manifested in their gifts, in the gifts that they give, but um, something very unique about them is that they will, they'll invite you to eat with them. They will, they will not have anything. Their kids might not have eaten for two days, and they want to feed you, and they want to help you, and they want to be there for you, and they want you in their home. Um, just a, a whole lot of love for strangers that they've, they've hardly ever known, and they allow you and accept you into their life like your family. And that's one thing I love about the Malagasy people and something that I'll never forget. And Madagascar and the Malagasy people are amazing. And I highly recommend going there someday. Um, thanks. <laughs>